Welcome to the workbench, I'm Doug. Today I'm gonna to show you how we can do some easy maintenance on our baby lock long arm machines. Keep your machines running smooth and free of problems in between your normal visits to your retailer. What we're gonna show you today is gonna to apply to the Jewel, the Crown Jewel, the Tierra, as well as the Coronet that we're using today. And when I start with the service, I like to start from the top and work my way down and around. So we're gonna begin with the tension unit. And today, to clean out the machine, I'm gonna use canned air. It's a great tool to use, but you do wanna be careful that when using it, you don't lean it, so that when you spray, you get a Freon release. Or no shaking. As long as you hold it stable and upright, you're good to go. You have a nice little tube here that'll help direct your airflow. Okay, so what we're gonna do with the tension unit is it's helpful since we don't have a tension release on our presser foot lifter lever to use a screwdriver coming in from the top to open up those discs. Then with your air, flow from the top to the bottom. There could be even a wax buildup sometimes where you then can go ahead and use a piece of fabric. And I've seen some out there even using dental floss. So if any time you experience that your thread tension is loose on the bottom, even though you've adjusted your tension knob, then that could be the culprit. Okay, and then next, we'd want to move down to the lower portion for your hook area. So we have two screws to remove for your needle plate. Once you get them loose, you can kind of use your finger to spit them out of the way. Oh yeah, we have a little lint and fuzz built up under here that we'll want to make sure that we clean off. You know, you can wipe it off with your fingers, use an old towel. Just make sure that this is all taken away. Okay, and if I rotate the hand wheel, you can see the hook rotating with me. And whenever you're blowing out in a general area of a sewing machine, it's beneficial to rotate your hand wheel. That way you're getting to the full circumference of your components. So by directing our air tube, we want to blow the air out towards the front because on the models listed, this is open. So if you blow directly from the front to the back, you'll be blowing that lint and fuzz within the machine. And so I want to collect it a little bit too, so it's not blowing all over the nice carpet we have here. Once it's blown and clean, you know, you could, since you have the needle plate off, go ahead and rotate your hand wheel until you see the tip of the hook that picks up your thread and this little V-shape. Okay, so that's the perfect spot for the placement of your oiler. One little drop. Okay, and then once you have it lubricated, it's a good idea to rotate the hand wheel to kind of work that lubrication within. And as you see, I'm sitting on my workbench here. You're probably gonna have your machine set up on a frame. So for you, it's gonna be best to slide your machine over on one side of that frame so that you have easy access to your components. Once we have the hook lubricated, everything's cleaned out there, then we can go ahead and reattach the needle plate. Two screws. And once you get them started and get them going, a lot of times you can just kind of spin them down into place. Once you get them close, then use a screwdriver to complete the process. And for your machines that are on a frame, this is another area that you'd like to pay attention to. So you have 
the rollers and the wheels for pulling your machine front to back. But then you also have four for your carriage moving left and right. So it's common to see a lot of thread and buildup maybe within these rollers. So you want to try to remove as much as the thread as you can get to, maybe with a little hook to or crochet tool. And then once you're done, again with your small oiler, you can put one drop within the bushing area and the bearing. And then just move your machine front to back on your carriage. And that will work that lubrication within. So your wheels, your rotary hook, and your tension mechanism are your big concerns. So once you've completed the steps, it's a good idea to go ahead and thread up your machine, install your bobbin case, and do a little sewing on some scrap fabric just in case there might be a little additional oil there. So now that you know, get out and sew.